Hi, Kevin Henry, the Group Editorial Director for Advanced Stars Dillon Division, and I'm on a Google Hangout today with Angela Guanzini. And I feel like you and I are, are kind of, uh, you know, soul partners here because I know you have that passion for dental assistance just like I do. And uh, I'd love for uh, you to tell uh, our viewers a little bit about yourself and about your background, please. Wonderful. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin, for having me. Yeah, so I'm Angela Guanzini. I've been a dental assistant for about 15 years and halfway through my clinical uh, chairside experience, my doctor invested in uh, digital technology. So we were using chairside CAD CAM, uh, CEREC at the time, and we also were beta testers for E4D technology. So simultaneously we were able to use both systems and then decide which was best for our practice, which for our practice happened to be E4D. Uh, we also had the 3M chairside oral scanner, dental microscope, and really just started to see what digital technology was doing for me as a professional, as well as what it did for our practice, um, how it water patients. And so there's just, you know, so many times how you and I see dental assistants look at um, assisting kind of as a stepping stone to maybe moving on to hygiene, moving on to dental school. And I just really feel that um, dental assisting is a career that can take you in so many different, uh, down so many different avenues, dependent on what you want to where you want to walk, and CAD CAM has definitely changed my life. I mean, it changed our practice, but it really changed my life. It made me uh, a producer in my practice, and I think that that's something that assistants haven't been able to do. I mean, we can make bleaching trays and take our x-rays and whatnot, but ultimately, saving a lab fee um, and being able to work with a patient solo uh, while a doctor is working next door with another restorative assistant so you're able to double uh, a double up on production that really is is where ninja dentistries come from so ninja is an acronym for no i'm not just any assistant right so i'm a ninja and it's about turning suction into production i love that i mean that that's great and you know, I, I've met dental assistants who have come up to me and they say, well, I'm just a dental assistant. And I always say, no, you're not. You know, you are the dental assistant. And, and, and how do you, whenever you speak to other dental assistants, how do you let them know the important role that they play? How did, how did you find that passion? Well, you know, when I started looking, you know, when you show up to work and you're the first person there and you're the last one to leave and then you start to go, wait a minute, So I'm, and, and I'm the least paid in the practice. Uh, you know, you kind of get to that point where you do start to feel kind of ho-hum about what you do, but you know that you make such a huge impact on the practice. I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, I, hygiene and dentists, I mean, we're all a great team, but the dental assistants really truly are the, the backbone um, of the practice from OSHA to ordering. And um, when I, all of that is great and absolutely has to be done, but when I saw that um, CAD CAM, allowed me to generate revenue. So at the end of the day, I could see a, a dollar sign in, in a production that I brought to the practice. That just gave me more value. Uh, it made me feel important. And I think that that's what I like to express to the dental assistants that, you know, although we can save money uh, when we're working with, let's say, our Shine or Patterson Bank, our reps on uh, supplies, Right and say, oh, we're going to save a dollar on cotton rolls here and two dollars on gauze there, and we feel good about it. At the end of the day, we're not saving in our practice a whole lot of money. Um, so it's finding what your true passion is and, and how you can generate revenue into your practice to, to increase your value. So be it CAD CAM, be it um, you know social media, what are you doing? What are you doing ultimately is when I talk to them to be a difference maker in your practice. And for you, like you mentioned, that was really the E4D and the CAD CAM experience. How much of that was you just diving in and learning versus like a team training approach? Uh, d definitely intrinsic motivation. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, I think that's part of being a ninja is, you know, your ninjas are the assistants that want more, um, that are always willing to go above and beyond, not because they're asked to, but just because that's part of their character. And so for me, it was, I saw it as a huge opportunity, and I appreciated the fact that my doctor invested in the technology and allowed me to 
take the reins and really take it to the ultimate limit. Um, so when I think of it from a CAD CAM perspective, I mean, my doctor, I, I call him the pilot and I'm his co-pilot. I couldn't be who I am without him. And I worked for a male, that's why I always say him. Um, but ultimately, I think as an assistant, it comes down to your intrinsic motivation. Um, if you're extrinsically motivated, well, then it's going to be more of a team approach. It's going to be you know, the doctor and the assistant and, and the, all, all the team members holding hands together and, and plugging forward. But when you've got somebody that's intrinsically motivated, I mean, true ninja at heart, uh, they're the ones that really uh, want to make a difference for them because that makes them feel better and more important. You talk a little bit about the, the ninja dentistry. You know, you, you've mentioned it and you've talked about it just a little bit, but I, I really want people to understand what's at, at the core of, of the ninja dentistry and, and how you really help assistants get that next level of confidence to really take their career to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. So ninja dentistry, um, I started that, just launched it here this year, and when I, when I mentioned the word ninja and I saw the light bulbs go on and the girls get excited and screaming and clapping, um, that's what really made me think that I could make a difference now on the actual profession of dental assisting versus just in my practice as a, a CAD CAM dental assistant. And I didn't want, you know, when you're thinking about ninja, you, you don't want to say, well, if you don't do CAD CAM, you're not a ninja, because that's not it at all. It's, you know, what do you do in your practice to take it to the next level? You know, how do you really um, empower yourself uh, to increase your value? And so what I just started doing was speaking on it and, and started the movement and created a ninja web wall. And it's really a, a place for assistants to be able to um, blog, to they send me text messages, they respond on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so that everybody can really just pump themselves up about what dental assistants do for a practice and where, where the industry is going. That's so awesome. from, from here, you know, kind of the sky's the limit. I mean, it's just in the very, very early stages. Yeah, you know, I, I've seen so many times that the the assistants, like you said, they're they're underpaid, they're overworked, they're underappreciated in so many ways, and yet they're they really are the backbone of the practice in, in so many ways. And talk a little bit about what's what's one piece of advice that you would give to every dental assistant out there about again trying to make this a career, not just a stepping stone. The one piece of advice, let's see, I would say, you know, take a look in the mirror. And just ask yourself, what, you know, what are you doing in your practice um, to to be a difference maker? And I encourage people and, and challenge them to to approach their doctor and and bring it to the table, bring that energy to the table, and say, hey, guess what? You know, I I love what I do, but I'm ready for a challenge. And whether it be a team challenge, whether it be an individual challenge. You know, I'd like to know what I can do to help make um, make our patient experience better and make our practice better as a whole. And when you have that confidence and you bring that, whether you have it or not, you know, you fake it till you make it, or you, you bring that to the table, you're really going to um, just express a different um, energy and different kind of aura about who you are and, and what you are in that practice. And so that's what I like to talk to dental assistants about is, don't just punch in and punch out because at the end of the day you're going to get bored and and you're going and then it's moving on to the next place and the grass is always greener um, you make the grass green you, know, you stay where you're at and and you be and you grow that practice and and you don't ever have to leave when you do that kind of stuff that's awesome and I just want to make sure that our viewers get your website so they can get more information about ninja dentistry yes please um, so Ninja Dentistry, it's www.ninjadentistry.com, and it's Ninja, N-I-N-J-A, so no, I'm not just any assistant. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Ninja Dentistry, Instagram, Facebook, I blog, and it all goes straight to the Facebook. So uh, look forward to in August, there will be a Ninja course, so that's, that's the next parts that are coming up is advancing and taking it to the next level, so introducing, you know, what do assistants know about occlusion, uh, about bonding, 
about CAD CAM. And so if there are things that you're interested in, um, understanding really technically the whys behind dentistry. So a lot of times I think as assistants we get, you know, we're handing instruments, we're handing materials, but at the end of the day, why are we doing that? And if we knew why we're doing it, it just makes us a better assistant because at the end of the day, our doctor is as only as good as his assistant. Love that. Absolutely. Angela, I really enjoyed the chat, and certainly I, I definitely want to do some more Google Hangouts with you that are targeted toward the assistants and uh, well, look forward to working with you. Okay, sounds great, Kevin. Thank you so much. All right, Angela, thanks so much. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too.